always say what's on the outside doesn't matter as much as what's on the inside, which is completely untrue when it comes to making bagels, and I've got sesame seeds in my eye. That's fine, I'll recover. Kettleman Bagels. You've probably heard of this place here in Ottawa. A couple of different locations. This one here on Bank Street, home base. And we're gonna find out today what it takes to make a great bagel and a great bagel sandwich. So I couldn't help myself. This is Ottawa Eats. So I'm here with the manager, Andy. Andy, thank you very much for having us here. Thanks for coming, Tom. Uh, I like that I was able to come here after you guys get here in the morning, because I assume you get here very early in the morning. Well, I'm 6.30. Yeah, it's a gross time of day. Oh. <laughs> do what you got to do. <laughs> exactly. But you guys are here very early. Uh, Kettleman's Bagels, obviously, you guys make a lot of bagels. There's massive piles back there. How long does it take you guys to put everything together on any given day for an order for a day? Uh, well, we've gotten so busy, too. We have bakers running 24 hours a day now. We have wow. three, three shifts of bakers that just switched uh, recently in about five months ago where we've taken on a third shift. Mm -hmm. But they're pumping out bagels all day long. We're doing between uh, eight and 10,000 bagels a day now. And on the weekends, we do between 12 and 14,000 bagels okay. each day. So. Wow, so that's, uh, that's a lot of bagels. It's a lot of dough. <laughs> the bakers make a lot of dough. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about Kettleman's. Uh, what's the philosophy behind it? And uh, why do you think you guys are so special? Because I think you are. We come here a lot for sandwiches. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, first of all. Uh, I appreciate the compliment. Uh, we use uh, a lot of the best ingredients. We've uh, switched our meats over to higher quality meats. We, uh, we use quality sesame seeds. We use, I mean, if you go to, there's another bagel shop in town. Mm -hmm. If you go there, you're going to notice a big difference in taste. Okay. Uh, I taste tested ours against the other bagel shop with my neighbors, and it was uh, 19 to 1, and uh, the one vote was a five-year-old, so. <laughs> they don't count. <laughs> <laughs> So you, when you guys make your bagels, um, the actual recipe that you guys do, is it something uh, that's specific for each specific type or is there a different kind of philosophy behind uh, There's a general starting bagels? recipe, but I mean they've all been tweaked. The owner of the shop there over many, many, many attempts have, have switched things into the flavor. The right taste, the right texture, uh, it's been a lot of trial and error, mm -hmm. but the boss has worked out a, a recipe that works. Now the, uh, the bagel off, as we'll call it now from now on, with you and your neighbor, um, when you guys were testing the bagels, is it just the bread that you're, you guys are really concerned with or is it basically everything that goes with it? Because obviously some of the bagels go better with certain sandwiches than others. Is there they do. A, I mean, a lot, of that, a lot of that is just based on, on personal preference. I mean, sesame bagels, we do, I mean, if you took all of, we have 14 kinds of bagels. Okay. And if you added up all the flavors except for sesame together, sesame will still beat that 20 to 1. Really? They're, yeah, it's a, it's a massive, ma it's, they pump up, you see that, there's, that chute there is just for sesame. Okay. And we have baskets for the other bagels in the back, but that's, it's all sesame. People want sesame. Right. And, you know, that's what, and it's, one of the things that sets us apart again is we, we buy the highest quality sesame seeds. So, with all the sesame seeds you guys uh, use, do you have a bird problem? Uh, you'll see a lot of fat pigeons on our roof, I'm sure, if you go outside here. They know where to hang out, for sure. And, and we've, been, we've been feeding the neighborhood squirrels there, too. We've been uh, raiding the dumpster there looking for bagels. You'll see the odd squirrel on the back fence from time to time munching on a bagel. So, it's a, so for you personally, because you're the manager here, how did you get into the bagel business? How does somebody go, I'm... Get I was I was just looking. I was actually uh, I worked for charity casino co companies when they were legal here okay. in town. And when it ended, I just was looking for a job. Mm -hmm. And I came in here, applied, got the job. Been here for 17 years. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So you know your way around the ovens. I, I do. I know my way around the shop. Not so much the ovens. This is, this is a this is a specialized job here. These guys are really talented, and we have uh, this morning you've got one of the best bakers probably in the world right there baking. Okay. So he's he's a machine, and things come up. It's it's. It's an art. That's amazing because <laughs> I'm, watch, I'm watching him right now and what he's doing with dough, I can't do at all. Oh no, he's, uh, this guy's a master. So okay. A <laughs> well, let's get into some ba uh, bagel making and find out exactly what you guys do behind the glass. Okay, sure. Okay, cool. So 
So we're behind the scenes here at Kettleman's and uh, we get to see something that not a lot of people get to see. By the way, that's a lot of eggs. That's an impressive <laughs> amount of eggs. But this is not your standard mixer, not your, your home variety, obviously, this unless you had a huge family. What are we looking at right here and what's the process? This is a super jumbo mixer. Uh, it's got to turn all the dough around. You're going to watch right now, he's going to be putting in all the flour, bagel base, uh, yeast, uh, a bunch of eggs, depending okay. on the recipe and what kind of dough they're doing. Uh, that there was a water pump and he's getting the water ready there that measures a specific amount of water that goes in. Okay. That's part of the trick, uh, one of the major tricks for these guys that have been doing making bagels for a long time is that you, if you ask a guy how much, how many liters of water goes into uh, a dough, uh, there really isn't a right answer because it depends on the weather, it depends on the humidity that's right. in the air. Okay. Very, uh, the dough is very fragile when it comes out there. Mm -hmm. it's, even though it's a massive blob of dough, the humidity in the air will affect the way it's going to cook in the oven. Okay. So these guys will have to adjust accordingly depending on the humidity that's in the air for what they're baking. But uh, so once that goes on, uh, it's it's a super powerful mixer. This is, uh, I mean, we just had mixer problems before too. They're super super expensive as well. Mm -hmm. These are heavy heavy duty. Uh, the dough weighs a lot. And that's why it's going to take. When you see when it comes out, you're going to see two of the guys there labor to get okay. this dough over there. It's like a dead body. You know, what I, mean? that's what I always say these guys will be good. If we have a dead body to get rid of. I'll call these guys. But uh, it's two of them taking it over to the table there, and it's uh, it's heavy heavy duty for sure. Okay. So whenever they're making the dough here, and there's different types of ingredients that go into it. Is there a specific measurement or a, an amount of dough that you want to get each and every single time? Uh, there's uh, I, let me just double check on the number there really fast. Yeah. Lammy, how many dozen out of one dough, full dough? Uh, 60, 60 dozen. 60 dozen. So, 60 uh, for, so one full dough and then sometimes though, uh, depending on our demand and what we have for our orders at our place, they'll just do it, they'll cut the recipe in half and okay. do a half dough. Gotcha. But generally uh, the sesame that's coming out, it's always going to be full doughs and we're producing those all day long. All yes. right. So they've got everything in, in here, it's mixing, and then once it's done, th where are they going? They're just going so over here? So two of the guys there will grab that and dump it on the table there. They're going to okay. let it sit for a couple minutes, and right. when they get started, they'll start separating it again as well into something that's easily more manageable for them okay. to roll. I love the way he's cutting it. Can we take a look at that, how he's cutting the dough? Absolutely. Because that's pretty it's interesting. Because there's a specific way to do this, correct? Like, you don't just take the huge dough and then just kind of you throw guys it together. You've got to break it down into manageable pieces. Right. So he's a, it still it takes, it's all about the hand press and being consistent with the, the, the length that you're doing and also mm -hmm. joining it so you can barely see that there was a join in it. Right. You know? Okay. Some flavors are easier to roll than others. We also do a mini bagel, which is very difficult for these guys because they got to roll these tiny little things <laughs> and they're not used to... Uh, <laughs> so whenever they're taking out the dough and they're cutting it, um, uh, they, they're basically, they've been doing this for years, so they're eyeballing it and they know how to do this kind of stuff, right? It's all by, it's all by right. touch, all by feel. Okay, so it's very much a craft for these guys. And how do you train somebody to make a bagel properly? Very difficult. Uh, funny that you say that. We have, uh, normally when guys start uh, training to be a baker, it'll take them about a couple months before we can use their bagels. Okay. So it's a very long process till they get comfortable with what they're doing there too. Yeah. Also, uh, what's, it's very, very tough to get on the oven. So once these guys have done it for about three months, they're ready to go take their turn over here. Okay. We actually have a new guy though. We'll just take a, get out of the way yeah. here. Bro, it's a busy spot. Yeah. So we, every, every now and then you get a star. The star right. who just started there has been on for two. So he's a star? Two, three days. Just started for the first time ever. Somebody on his first day was on the oven. Not only that, he did a full dough. So it's, it's never happened in our years being here. Anyway. What would happen if I ate a raw one? Uh, you'd get sick. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right. The yeast will make you sick. Okay. Yeah. Now, so here they're rolling them. I mean, it's unbelievable watching these guys. If you ever come here for a bagel, just for a sandwich or whatever, just watching these guys for a few minutes, it's its an unbelievable skill and craft because I, I can barely make cookies. Dinner and a show, for yeah. sure. Yeah. yeah, so that's pretty cool when they're doing this and they're putting them on the trays. So once they're on the trays, what happens after that? So if they were making a batch of rubber cheddar, if they're not printing, some of these will go into the, the, the freezer right now while they're waiting to be cooked. Mm -hmm. But over here is a giant kettle and that's got honey water in it. Okay, Ooh. so it's got, it's not a lot of honey, right. but it'll go into here to boil again to disinfect them and to also activate the yeast that's inside the bagels. Okay. From there, like these, these will be done. Those are urban cheddar. They're, they're as is once they get boiled or they're done with those, they would go right over to the, the table. The like baker's going to prepare them on a board here and they'll start off the process of what's going on in the oven. Right. They're not going to be doing those right now. They have a, a lot of sesame to do. So right after they're doing a white dough right now, mm -hmm. from the white dough, they can go anywhere from sesame. They can do poppy with the white dough. Of course, leave them alone and have them be plain. Mm -hmm. uh, those are the three ones for the white doughs so. though. Right. So massive ma amounts of white dough are coming out all day long. Okay. And even if we have other, other specials to do, there'll be a white dough, white dough, white dough, throw in something else, white dough, right back to the white because these ones, we go, we'll go through these easy peasy. Mm -hmm. like, there's a lot of bagels there, but that'll, that, that on, a, on a Friday can be gone in an hour. Yeah. You know, when the rush starts. 
Now, I also noticed that, I mean, you guys, a lot of bagel places, if they're really worth their salt, are going to be using this, correct? Uh, yeah, these yeah. are these are specially made for us, again, by the guy who distributes the wood for us, the plank that he brings. He cuts those himself. So you'll notice that one there has a great big paddle on the end of it. Yeah. Makes it easier on the guys when they're tossing the bagels there. This is more about getting them in because they'll be in there for some time, mm -hmm. and they'll leave those in there for a while so you don't want the end. But this is just more for scooping them and tossing it. And you'll see the process when they get going here, how tricky that is. And there's, there's hot spots. the oven itself, is it wood fired? Is that is that the idea? It's Yeah, it's only, it's only, it's only heated by wood by the wood that goes in there these planks that we keep from the top there they'll keep going to the bottom to the hardwoods so i'm just going to take out a piece here i mean that's a, a nice piece of wood this could have been a hockey stick it could have been they don't <laughs> these hardwoods <laughs> so you guys go through probably quite a bit of wood then uh, because I, that's that's it, it's what all, everything runs it's on, all right? all day long all day long wow yeah. So you not only have to be a craftsman with dough, the soft touch, you have to be a woodsman as well, correct? Yeah, that's it, yeah, you can smell it. I mean, if you go outside, I'm sure you can smell the wood burning yeah. outside there. It's one too. of the it's best things about being down here. One of the charms, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. So from there to the water, onto this, how long are they the traditionally oven. in here for? Again, they're going to time those uh, depending on the humidity right. that's out there too and what's in the dough there too, but 15 minutes tops, you know, right. depending. But these guys will shuffle these around in there for a while, getting the right temperature. Uh, and depending on how hot the oven is, sometimes it's going to be faster. And they got to play that by how hot. And this is again is something they have to get used to mm -hmm. by how hot they know that this is right here. So it's really yeah. an old world kind of style of how to make a bagel. It's an art form. It is. It really is go. an art form. Okay, yeah. so um, we've talked about a lot about making a bagel. I would like to try my hand at actually just rolling one because if I do more than that, I'll put you guys out of business. <laughs> so can we do that? Absolutely. Awesome. All right. I'm going to do that. I'm going to roll me a bagel. Watch too if you want to cheat and watch. Uh, slow it down, though, Lamb. <laughs> yeah. hey, Lamb, come over here. Come over here. You gotta, you gotta. Ex give me, give me a, just a nice demonstration with this piece of dough. Exactly what? Okay. Right. There you go. Okay, I got that. Right. <laughs> very, very easy, right? <laughs> you wonder, yeah, I'll never be able to do that. You okay. want to try this? Yeah, I'll, I'll try fine. it anyway. I'll try it for piece fun. For him. There you go. Yeah. So, okay. So I'm gonna take this, wrap it around your hand, around my hand. Yeah. And pinch it off. Where right here? Oh, yeah. Sort of. Yeah. This now you can put it down. Squeeze. You gotta uh, squeeze it. Fold it over once and squish it together. Uh, left hand. Left, left hand. hand. <laughs> left hand's better. Always First. Always the left hand. Left hand. So I just squeeze it a little bit. Okay, squeeze it, and there then we go. <laughs> it's uh, press, I have. Press press down, oh, okay. Press down, I, I'm being down. a sissy. I didn't realize I was being a sissy. And now put your hands together in the middle and separate it out as you go on. Here we okay. go. He's ready. He's ready. We're, we're putting him to work. <laughs> and then what? I missed that step. You're gonna. Okay. Once it's skinny. Yeah. I got gotcha. you. Oh, he makes it look so easy. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so okay, I wanted about that thin. Okay. Let him follow your lamp. Wrap around your hand. Yeah. So this. I know. You know, grab like sort of like that, like and this. then wrap it around your hand. Yeah. Like this. Like that. Yeah. Now yeah. pinch it off. <laughs> Good. Now you're rolling down where that knot is because you don't want that knot to be there, and smooth out that knot. I don't. It look. It looks like I made a bracelet. <laughs> <laughs> And when you're done, put it. Try to put it in a circle, and it'll sort of give us. That's not bad. For See, look, here's that a is not bad for a first attempt. There's a, <laughs> mine looks. Uh, are you are you disappointed? Would you say you're disappointed in this? Is this good or bad? Uh, it's okay. It's okay. He's being, being nice to you. He would throw okay. that right back. He would throw that right back in the mixer when he was. Oh, there you go. That's the. Uh, this is Tom's bagel, and this is a professional bagel. One of these I would eat. Guess which one? Which one would you eat? Uh, I don't, I'm not crazy about the urban cheddar, so... <laughs> oh, he's being nice. He's going to defer his judgment. Oh, okay. So that's how you make a bagel here at Kettleman's, but obviously he's been doing this for quite a long time. Um, 20 years. When you, when you get somebody here to actually make bagels, what's the, what's the actual training curve for them? Because I know you, you explained it a little bit, but, you know, he's the guy, In he's practice, the master. Right, he, so these guys go through dough after dough. When you're starting, you can be shown, you can be shown a hundred times. Right. So you get your hands dirty doing it, you're not going to get it. And look it's at the difference in the speed. Like, look at <laughs> what he does. He's a machine. 
you saw the painful process that I had to go through. <laughs> and you, wow, you know what, here, give me one of these, give me high one five. of these, Liam. Come on, high five. Yeah, there you go. He doesn't want to get my dirty, untrained hands on his clean ones. Okay, so it's quite the process to learn how to do it then. It it's is. just about it's all about doing tough. repetition. It's very tough. Gotcha. Okay. So that's how you make a bagel improperly, but if you come here to Kettleman's, they'll make it properly for you. So it wasn't bad for a first attempt. I'm telling you, I've seen some pretty messy bagels from guys first day. It wasn't bad, Tom. Thanks. <laughs> Awkward. Awkward man hug. <laughs> We're putting you to work in the afternoon, so uh... <laughs> mopping the floors probably. Yeah. This is always my favorite part of the show when I get to wear these gloves. Do I have to cough? <laughs> well then, okay. uh, let's talk about cream cheese, okay? Because uh, when people come here, uh, when you think bagels, you think cream cheese, and you have so many different varieties here. Do you make all these on your own? They are all made here, okay? Everyone, I mean, against the light and the regular, of course. Mm -hmm. Natural. You do have a lot of different varieties. Do you have a favorite one yourself, personally? Uh, personally, I mean, I'm not. I'm not. I'm, one of the most popular ones is the smoked salmon. That's not my favorite. I like the garlic one. Okay. Yeah. So, and whenever you guys make these, um, is there a specific recipe that you follow? Has is this another thing that the, the owner yes, or manager yes, have come up with? Been tweaked. Uh, part of the main thing for the cream cheese is to be consistent. People right. get used to a flavor that they really like. They want to have the same thing every time. So mm -hmm. they do follow a strict recipe, of course. Was there one that was a, a failure ever that you know? Uh, pimento, chive, olive, with raspberries, maybe? Yeah, no, nobody was crazy enough to make that one, but I, uh, I'm trying to think if anything did fail. We Careful, I am we... wearing the gloves. Don't <laughs> call me crazy. Is there one that we had that we don't have anymore? I can't think of one that disappeared. No. I mean, they all... We have our seasonal ones, but... Oh, yeah, seasonal. See, seasonal. Oh, so, so we had, like, uh, Bailey's. Yeah, great. That's uh, yeah. Bailey's on Easter. And then Ooh. we do... We've done different colored cream cheeses as well. A uh, chocolate Easter cream egg was another one. It was the yellow one with uh, chocolate chunks that were in it as well. So odd. You're uh, that's a brand new one there. Unusual we, lot. We have the uh, all dress one. That's uh, the boss came back from New York, and that's one that's big. Down oh, the one that's got here. roasted. Yeah, right in the back of it, that's got roasted uh, poppy uh, sesame seeds in it, poppy seeds, mm -hmm. onion, and garlic, and the cream cheese. Sauce. Sounds like a great combo. It's a new one. So I'm I'm not I'm gonna go past the cream cheese today. I would like a sandwich instead. And you said I could make my own sandwich because when you come to Kettleman's, one of the best things about this place are the bagel sandwiches. Absolutely. So, uh, what's the process here? How does this work exactly? So, How can I not hurt You myself? grab the whole wheat bagel? Is that what yeah, you like yeah, yours? So grab that out there on the, on the table there. Right. So if I can, I'll show you. Can I cut it for you today? I used to work at a, uh, an establishment that shall remain nameless that also serves a lot of bagels. <laughs> so I used to have an automatic slicer, which was a lot easier than using freehand. Yeah. So, so, a little trick for slicing bagel. I like your gloves better, yeah. by the way. <laughs> if you want to just, it's a, about pushing down firmly on mm -hmm. it, you're going to, we'll get you another one to do your own. You're gonna okay. slice no, half, no, that's okay. The slice halfway through, right. and then you go straight down when you're up there to make oh. sure you don't cut yourself, and you get a pretty good cut. Too. Okay, there you so go. Generally, we don't have cheese on the Italian. That's what you'll be making for yourself. You selected. Well, I'm going to make that for our camera guy, Ian. I'm going to make his Italian sandwich, so I, hopefully I can give him some food sure. poisoning. Does Ian like cheese? Do you like cheese, cameraman Ian? Swiss cheese, yeah. okay. Okay, there Swiss. All right. So, grab yourself. Two slices of the Swiss there. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, right on the other one, so I put it square. Okay. Same thing, and if I can, we're just going to turn those the same direction. You want your cheese to be squared off there. Right. Okay. I'm already sloppy and all over the place. Grab yourself two of the nice tomatoes there. Do you have a couple of nice tomatoes? I'll get them the green ones. Do you have any green ones? <laughs> no? Uh, so it's on one side, and then right over to the other side, half and half. Perfect. All right. Nice, sort of overlap a bit there. Uh, next, we're going to grab some spicy eggplant. Oh, sorry. I'll grab you some meats for the deli meat. I suppose it would have helped if we uh, made sure we had the right meat oh, for your yeah. sandwiches ready there. But Don't worry. We've so you're going to grab this is uh, some salami there. Okay. So you grab yourself a few slices, two or three. For your cameraman. Yeah. Which Where do I put those? So again, like the opposite, opposite side, just opposite side right there. Okay. Again, opposite side of that one over there. Okay. Do you want an extra one there, Ian? Yeah, we'll give you a couple extra. Perfect. All right. I'll give him one extra there. It's already pretty sliced. He's skinny. Yeah. Yeah. And now what? This? Isn't this? Yes. 
And how much of this stuff? Ham? Just a little bit, all over the plate. Uh, in, put some more, yeah. like, like you're putting on bacon there. Ah. Okay. All right. Excellent. You're gonna grab these. We're gonna grab you the spicy eggplant. This is where you're going to get your hands a little dirty right here. That's okay, I'm wearing okay, gloves. You want to take like a scoop about the size maybe of an egg, if you can. A scoop about the size of an egg. Like that. Uh, okay. yeah, we'll put a little more on, but put that on first. You grab a little, little bit more there, a little for them. Yeah, right on the middle. And you want to sort of ball it in, yeah, so it's not going to be too, so sloppy. Next, we're going to grab <laughs> you some pesto sauce, which there doesn't appear to be any out there right now. Do you have pesto down there, Jen? Grab me some This will be embarrassing, sauce. we have no pesto sauce. Oh. <laughs> Are we going to go with mayo instead? We are going to go with mayo. Would you like How mayo, Ian? Yeah, Ian? <laughs> Ian's going to get some mayo. Grab a, so this one's actually, it's ready to go at the bottom. So okay. be careful, it's going to come out pretty fast. You oh, want to just do like a circle there. Oh yeah, it does come out quick. You got a lot of mayo. <laughs> give a little, no, 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 that's, that's, you can have a little more there. Yeah, we do have to fatten them up. You're Grab right. yourself some lettuce there. Just one, one leaf? Uh, one full, nice broad leaf okay. there. You can actually break it in half if you want and sort of overlap that on there too. Okay. And another one, bagel directly, flip it right over on top carefully there. No problem. I'm all about careful. Give it a little firm push down there. Now, okay. you want to, with your left hand while you're balancing sort of there, you want to put the knife there. And while you're going to cut down, you're going to grab both sides of the sandwich at gotcha. the same time. Okay. Don't cut your fingers. I will cut Although my fingers. Although it would make for a good TV. Yeah. <laughs> you, want, you wanted your bagel sandwich with a little bit of blood, right Ian? Yeah? A little bit of blood? Now what? Both sides? Yeah. Dead center of the tray there. The Italian usually gets served with uh, black olives, unless you prefer pickle. Black olives? Black olives? Black olives. Yeah. So we'll grab this. There you there. Grab yourself about five olives right in the dead center of that sandwich here. Got more than five. Yeah, you are done. <laughs> you ready to serve? There you go. Okay. <laughs> there's your, uh, there's your coughed on bagel sandwich, Ian. The Italian. No, the Italian. Sorry if, uh, you still want it if I coughed on it? Yeah, you're okay with it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> cool. So this is the, the Italian sandwich, but you have more than just the Italian sandwich. You have a bunch of them, right? We do. We yeah. have a name of them? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Well, so one of our biggest sellers, of course, is the breakfast bagel. It's been the biggest seller Which is year. amazing. Bacon, yeah. egg, and cheddar treats. Yeah. Turkey, those ingredients only. Uh, salt and pepper. That's Perfect. it. Perfect. People get it with or without ketchup. We have turkey, ham and cheese sandwich, roast pork, uh, roast beef. Uh, one of our specialties is the Kettleman Special. It comes with smoked salmon, cream cheese, tomatoes, and onions. Mm -hmm. That's a big one, too. We have a CBC melt, which is a real chicken breast with uh, melted Swiss cheese and bacon on it with uh, all the fixings as well. Right. So and if you're coming here for sandwiches, you have everything, right? Pretty sure. much. Yeah. We have a couple of vegetarian options, too. We have okay. a TLC, which is tomato, lettuce, cucumber. We also have uh, the vegetarian, which is the other sandwich that uses a spicy eggplant there. It comes with Swiss cheese, uh, lettuce, tomato, spicy eggplant, pesto sauce. All cheese. right. So, when you come here to Kettleman's and you get their amazing handcrafted bagels and their wonderful sandwiches, trust me, it will be made by someone who is much more skilled than I am. <laughs> I screwed up the bagels. I clearly... Sorry, Ian. I've, you're, not gonna, you're not doing too yeah. well if you're going to be playing for a job here after their time. Well, we'll just erase the tape and we'll fuck it, I think. You'll forget all this. I'll take you out for a couple of beers. There you go. You know, Kettleman's bagels, <laughs> sandwiches, bagels, and a whole lot more. Come by, check them out. They're here at Bank Street and have a couple of other locations, correct? Uh, one other location. And that's the one on Carling Avenue. Carling Avenue. There you go. Kettleman's bagels. And the one in Carling is licensed. But I throw it in there. That's where I'll buy you a beer. <laughs>